welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't be a stranger and hit the red subscribe button. If you trust your rebel heart, ride into battle, don't be afraid. Take the road, let's travel. Wear out your boots and kick up the gravel. Don't be afraid. Take the road, let's travel on. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Um, I look like a mess. I do know that. And it's like, hello, great lighting. Um, anyway, I'm doing a review today. I'm doing a review of my new rain riding breeches. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, as you all know, I live in Bergen in Norway. Well, I live a little bit outside Bergen, Norway. And it rains a lot. I think in August we had 22 days with rain and the rest of the days have been on and off with rain and today it's October 1st and we started out with having lovely weather that turned into rain and tomorrow I'm going to the barn and surprise surprise for the fifth Tuesday in a row it's gonna rain so I decided that I'm so I'm so sick of being wet all the time, soaked by the rain when I get in from my ride. So yeah, I um, just had to find a solution. I read about uh, Stiana, 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 whatever, uh, Stiana, uh, riding wear. And I realized that they had like riding bridges that were waterproofed. But I could only see them in short, like to your knee. But then I actually realized that I had long riding bridges as well for us who doesn't wear uh, tall boots when we are riding. And then I contacted Stiana and asked if I, where I could buy them and they said that I had to contact a shop in Norway where to get them. And then I contacted Hang on, I will find a name because then I contacted Equine Norway, which I will link down below. And they actually had lots of people that were asking for the same breeches. Um, I will insert a picture how they look on. But anyway, I managed to uh, purchase them and I'm, I was so I was really waiting for them to arrive and when they arrived I was like yes finally so I thought that I would do a review over not the first impression but after that I wore them once so I wore them once riding and they have a four way stretch like they are pretty pretty stretchy they actually have the grippy parts in your knee, inside the knee, and they actually have grippy parts up at your bum. And let me tell you, these things are really grippy because I had a little bit of um, trouble posting trout because I thought that I was stick stuck to the saddle. But it didn't. But it was seriously very well for sitting trots. Um, these things have. They are the long ones, and they have the elastics at the bottom that you can stick under your shoe, so they don't go up like crawl up to your knee while you're riding, which is excellent. They also have a heavy duty uh, zipper that goes all the way up to the top and it's a two-way zipper which is really good and they have these down here where you can uh, adjust how uh, you want them at your ankle and you can take the zipper down again then you have the zipper up here that goes down yeah you know the deal they have in both sides they have these two buttons that goes like this and they have a belt loop here which is reflective like a nice little detail 
They also have the logo well done at the knee here, well, or your leg. It says Equitex. I think this is also reflective. And then they have the, in front of the, on your thigh, they have the logo, Stiano. Stierno, I don't know how to say it. But the logo actually looks like, yep, let me find it. Looks like this. Stierno. Uh, at the front of the, no, this was the side. It has the reflective here. And side buttons. And in front, it's just plain. So it's not a zipper or anything, it's just at the sides, which I found sort of difficult, which is the only downside by it, because because of my joints, I can't reach around here sometimes. So that was a little bit complicated for me, but I managed to handle it pretty well. Yeah, so these are them, and they are very stretchy, and they don't get in the way of your riding at all. They move you with your body, and you can have like tights underneath it, or wool tights, or whatever, because you don't need breeches underneath them, because these are breeches, only they are waterproofed. I actually tried them last Thursday, and when we were out, we had the worst rain ever. Um, it rained like, first it rained like, um, half an hour, then it was 10 minutes not raining, and then it was a half an hour again with rain and wind. And I took Attila out, and <laughs> we were walking down the road just to warm up, and he was like, uh-uh, I don't want this, and I was like, yes, we are going. And then we got back to the arena, and I think it was after half an hour out in a pouring rain, he actually just went on strike, like totally on strike. He was like, either I stand in the middle or you take me back to the barn because I'm not doing anything. And I was like, okay, great. So I actually, this once, I let the poor old guy have it his way. So we walked back to the barn. I actually had someone to hold him so I can get off because he was that eager to get into the barn, like away from the rain. And I do understand him because that day it was so heavy rain. I was so tired of the rain been raining for weeks straight and the only thing only thing that was soaked were actually my toes because my paddock boots or my not paddock boots but my riding shoes aren't waterproofed so that was the only thing that was actually actually wet this one kept my bum and my thighs and everything from being wet from the ride which is oh, amazing so I definitely, definitely, definitely will um, recommend these breeches because they held me dry in the worst weather ever. I can't wait to see how they are for more rides. I just tried them this once, but with the rain in Bergen and with the autumn, autumn upon us, I will assure you there is going to be more rainy days so I can't wait to just think that I can just put on those pull on those breeches and actually stay dry for the whole ride so I'm very pleased with them they are a bit on the pricey side which is a downside about them because they were 1895 kroners which is around 190 dollars 190 euros something like that because yeah, they are a bit pricey, but they are worth the money. Um, I have tried to ride in just regular rain gear, but it didn't do. This, it really sticks to the saddle and like these silicone things, there are a lot of, a lot of them. And I'm surprised how much it actually is at the bottom, like where you sit. It's like almost like wearing full seat breeches, only much lighter. So I honestly do recommend them. I will link Stiana down below and I will also link Equi Norway where I bought them from. Because if you're from Norway, you can buy them from there. And yeah, I'm very, 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 very pleased with them. So I thought that I would just get it out on my channel if you're looking for breeches that actually holds in the rain and with autumn upon us and fall upon us 
and the rain and the weather and stuff like that, I would truly, from my bottom of my heart, recommend Skierna. And I'm going to use it again tomorrow. So, yeah. That was it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And on the end I will insert the pictures, like big ones, uh, when I wear the uh, Skierna pants. Until then, see you next time. Bye.